Capricorn, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn between now and the end of December? Hmm? Are we closing our cycles and actually reflecting on what it is that we learned this year? What it is that we're truly, truly appreciative for? Our growth? The things that came in our lives? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, look out, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find one of these beautiful readers on YouTube that can best assist you without using the profane language. Because me, the way I'm set up, look out, darling, I'm going to cuss. Okay, so um, <laughs> please feel free. I do, I'm not offended if you have to find another reader. I love you long time. To my new returning uh, subscribers, family, Hey y'all, hey, what the hell is popping? Who cooking? What the hell y'all cooking for the holidays? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. If you cross watching for a Capricorn and you happen to be a Taurus, I didn't tell y'all happy Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, but happy holidays, everybody. As we go into the new year, y'all, it's very, very reflective time. Very revealing time, might I say, for Capricorn, uh, by the way. But I gotta say, y'all, this has been quite the journey. This is just um general it's not personal if you need a personal reading that information can be found within the description because this girl me uh, this girl is going on vacation in january so y'all better get y'all damn readings in and i will be popping out a special so i gotta get these videos up and running only day i'm not working is on christmas so if you need a personal reading hit me up all right um you guys this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watches of capricorn between today the 23rd and the 31st of December 2018 as we close this year out. You guys, um I'm trying to see if I have any more announcements. I don't. I don't really like long intros. Also, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're really dysfunctional. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We don't do that shit over here. But we do share, we grow, we enlighten, we love y'all, we evolve, positive vibes only, and it's been quite the journey yet again for my cappies. So we're going to get right into it. I did pull an angel message for you all. Um, I am going to hold it until the end of the reading to see how it resonates, and let's rock. All right. So spirit, we're going to start off with your spirit message. It is, I'm picking up an eternal level. My cappies, getting it together. From now until the 31st. December. Spirit. Let's just do you have. Beautiful Capricorn. Right. Moon. Okay. I'm going to speak. Hmm. Some of you all are really needing to have more faith during this time. For some of you all, you intuitively know that something is about to take place. And I feel like your faith is solid. You're actually just focusing on planning your abundance ahead of time. Some of you all, there's a need to trust your dreams. Your dreams could be showing you abundance within the future, but some of you all haven't even paid attention to the fact that there's a particular missing person, piece, obstacle, situation that would normally you'd see every day, but going forward in the future, you didn't see it, particularly because there's, I'm keep here and letting go release, okay? So you need to have faith during this time. For some of you all, this could involve, um, this could actually involve, I feel like, could be your children. Some of y'all during this time, your children could be acting out. Some of y'all are finding out that you have indigo children, okay? I'm, I'm hearing turn to your children, turn to your children. During this time, you really needed to have more faith, all right? And know that you are protected. Know that your family is going to be protected. And know that some of you all are really needing to heal the cycle possibly with the child as well. Yeah. All right. For some of you all, some of you guys need to have, to have faith in barking on your childhood dreams. For some of you all, this could do with healing work, okay? Some of you all are healers. I'm hearing um, Reiki. I'm hearing, I heard Reiki and I heard, um, what is that? Feng Shui, that's different. Some of you guys could have, uh, could want to move toward the arts of healing. Could actually want to be an entre entrepreneur and doing some type of healing work. And I definitely know, I definitely feel that it has to do with um, your life purpose here. But I feel like a lot of you guys need to have more faith. It's like you tell yourself that 
you know, oh, it's not going to grow or it's not. It's like, you know, one minute you're very passionate about what you do, you know, but at the same time, you're very practical. So when you don't see things growing as fast as you would like it to grow, you just kind of throw your damn hands up. But some of you all, there, there, thank you, spirit. Some of you all, it's have faith. Some of you guys it could be uh, married. Maybe you want to have a child. Okay. For some of you all, it's how you attach to your actual traditional beliefs. I feel like for some of you, some of y'all, some of y'all are really in your head about having a baby. Maybe your spouse or someone, someone felt like someone was infertile. But what you want is actually going to be coming to fruition or you could be actually hearing solutions to it. I'm hearing get more information, Caps. Yeah. For some of you all, there's a need to truly ground yourself. Stop. Take time for yourself. And really practice that self-love. And know that you are protected in doing so. For some of you all, you really, there's a focus on stability. A focus on stability. But spirit is trying to bring your focus back to your household. Back to your home front. Your children. Specifically here. Somebody's child. I feel like someone feels like there is hope is all lost when it has to do with the child. They could be acting up. Or some type of judgment having to do with the child. This could also be some type of hereditary cycles around traditional beliefs. Like maybe someone didn't grow up with their uh, with their mother or their father. I feel more so. Well, it could be mother or father. But I feel like and maybe someone's having to branch out on their own. Separating. You have to practice this self-love. And I feel that you're beating yourself up during this time. Because I feel like you want to control the outcome or control the situation, but it's happening for a reason because there's a need to truly mend hereditary cycles, but sometimes that actually consists of what is within you. Maybe you are learning that your child is experiencing that same abandonment and there's something, you're trying to have faith in the situation because I feel like there could be a parent that, one parent that's working with one and the other one's not truly working as a, as a, un, as a unit, I'd say, I'm sorry. And my words was not fucking up, Capricorn. Some of you guys could also be having issues with speaking your truth. You're really needing to say what it is that you're needing to say and speak from your heart space in order to bring things and manifest things to the surface the way that you want them to go. For some reason, it's something about uh, practicality and the vision. But it starts from within because some of you guys are operating from a fearful place. And it's like there's a need to... Release that control and really get back into tune with your energy, your cardinal energy and moving forward and just trusting that things will, you know, ground themselves. Things will become more practical and you'll be able to see what it is that you're trying to build. But first you need to believe what it is that you're trying to see. Because this path is destined for you all. Self-love. You choosing to love, fall in love, and really set healthy roots from a loving space. For some of you all, I'm hearing miracles. You're going to find out that God is a miracle worker. Some of you all are embracing self-love, yet being very reflective on where you've been, how you got there, what it is that my heart truly desires. Because you'll come to see that based on who you was just last year, how much did you really work to complete cycles to have everything that you desire within the palm of your hand? For some of you all, some of you all could definitely be researching dragons during this time. Somebody's going to receive some red flowers from someone. Or you could be... um receiving some major down low while in nature near some near a bush of red flowers during this time you guys may also be seeing a lot of frogs frogs signify abundance great health so does the turtles and with this turtle being here as well as this pelican i'm sorry the stork some of y'all are definitely going to hear some type of or come to a knowledge about some form of abundance, okay? That could come through the form of a child for some of you all. Some of you all, some of your children can come into something abundant as far as financially. That could actually help you in moving forward towards your life path and actually funding your 
funding your idea. And I feel like this is destined for some of you all. Some of y'all going in business have been really in your head about going into business with your children. And again, that's hereditary because some of you all maybe didn't grow up with a father. Maybe you wanted to have a family business, but at the same time, maybe you didn't have a father or a mother who really had the time to really focus on your wants. They could only focus on your needs. And for some of you all, it kind of built that belief in, you know, that being the most important thing. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. You can't die with money. You can't die with none of that material shit. What matters is what you did while you were here, how much love you gave, how you opened your heart space to move forward and giving God's message and living, living God's will, not your own. Yeah, by trusting in your own Trusting your own self and moving towards your own destinies with knowing to respect that law, that spiritual law and order. For some of you all, it's just the beginning of your journey. Some of you all could be very young and follow me. I'm feeling like 18, 19. And you're, you're, you're finding that you're having very prophetic dreams during this time, but you don't really know how to really move forward and help assist people in... Assist people in like using that, well, not really in using that ability, but with using that ability. You really need them to get to connect more so connected with spirit more than anything during the end of December. Some of you all will be doing so. Some of you guys are going to be going to a big body of water and bam, you're going to receive some massive download about some newness in your life. And I feel like I'm speaking to someone who was infertile. All right? So let's get it. This love message popping. All right. So, spirit, what messages do you have in love? For my lovely Capricorns, I'm going to rise Venus from now to the end of December 2018. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. For some of you all, you really need to have faith and have courage in moving forward, okay? And possibly a love partnership. This could be with the Leo or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like communication can definitely fix an issue going forward, especially if you're dealing with a Leo, because I feel like somebody, somebody in the past has been allowing somebody to talk to them crazy, and this could be a fire sign. Some of you all are having the courage to push forward in learning how to communicate possibly with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you all have, yeah, some of y'all are dropping a burden. Some of y'all are going to communicate to someone or you could have an air sign communicating to you um, that they want to move forward. You know, they no longer really want to put in the work. For some of you all, um, you could be dealing with a Leo and maybe you and this Leo person could have had a sexual relationship and I feel like you or this other person feels like this is just too much work so you're just going to communicate during this time look I'm over the shit I mean we can still be booty buddies or whatnot but I mean <laughs> but some of you all are definitely could also be in Aries some of y'all could actually be wanting to um wanting to start something practical start something new okay with an Aries person some of y'all are walking away from Aries Leo Sagittarius strong emphasis on the Leo Okay, but for some of you all, it could also be a Sagittarius as well. But some of you all um, could also be trying to manifest something new with the fire sign. Okay, some leaving, some coming to the house of the fire. Welcome. We welcome you, baby. You keep us grounded. Sometimes when we get upset, we just be like, get the hell out the way. I don't want to burn nobody. I ain't a killer, but don't push, don't push me, damn it. <laughs> Some of you all are dealing with a water sign, okay? I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person, but I also feel like they're a headache, especially I'm hearing someone drinks too much, and I'm hearing, you motherfucker, you stupid motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. All right, so whoever that's for, come in, because that is very interesting. Somebody is being verbally abused by someone when they drink or verbally abusing someone. Some of you guys, some of y'all was in a third-party situation with a water sign and a fire sign. This could include the Aries or a uh, Sagittarius. 
some of y'all also dealing with the sign of Sagittarius to drink too damn much. Some of you guys are definitely putting in the work as far as trying to, some of y'all trying to help somebody out as far as recover from some type of addiction or something of that nature. Okay. Some of you guys really want to work on a relationship with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel that there is truth and clarity, okay? But some of y'all want to work, help move forward in the partnership with another earth sign. And I feel like this person drinks too much as well. This could be a um, yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you all are really, really, some of you all may be also learning about uh, working with crystals as well. There's a need to, um, what's about the, the, the the amethyst. During this time, a lot of you guys may be actually be drawn to amethyst to assist you in um, assist you in trusting your intuition. Some of y'all are doing some type of candle work, possibly using some type of amethyst. I'm hearing to see something, to see. Shout out to my high priestesses out there to see something. Could involve a fire sign. Uh, this could also involve earth. You guys are definitely going to be getting some type of truth and clarity, okay? Or giving it. Okay, and this could involve a new beginning. Some of you guys uh, have been working on investing in something new, possibly investing money, or possibly waiting to hear from some type of bank loan place. To, uh, some, I'm hearing bank. Some type of invest store, okay, towards a new beginning. Business business investment, you're going to get it. Congratulations. Good shit, Capricorn. Some of you all are going to... Um, Receive some truth or give some truth to someone. I feel like you have a new love. Some of y'all have a new love that could be a fire sign. I feel that you've been focused on work. This person could also be focused on the pinnacle. But I feel like there's some truth and clarity that's needing to be had for some type of clarification to this fire sign or from this fire sign about this new beginning. And I feel like someone wants to, someone wants it to move very fast. And that's very burdening to either you or this other person, Capricorn, because I feel like... Both of you guys are really kind of starting fresh and putting work within yourself. Okay, you or this other person is having a hard time moving away from someone. Okay, that could be from their past. Some of you guys are walking away from a water sign or have someone external in your energy that truly needs to. Some of y'all could be telling somebody, look, I really want to, you know, move forward towards an honest relationship. I want to have something serious with you, okay? I really want to uh, manifest something beautiful with you, but look out. We're going to have to set some damn boundaries. Some of y'all are doing this with a Taurus, and some of you guys could definitely be um, having an air sign. Some of y'all got a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius that's getting ready to move away from y'all during this time. Some of y'all could, and it has could have to do with um, some type of financial opportunity or something something having to do with work as well. But some of y'all putting y'all foot down because I feel like some of you guys have someone comparing you to someone from their past that they truly need to walk away from and I feel like it's causing this third party energy some of y'all could also be walking away from an air sign due to third party activity after getting the truth and clarity that you need but this is only going to cat this is only a catalyst situation to move you forward okay towards your new beginning because I feel like some of y'all wasn't going to move I feel like some of y'all were just going to sit in the midst of defensiveness and, and, and instead of listening to spirit's call and actually listening to your dreams, spirit said during this time, really pay attention to your dreams, listen to your children, turn to your children. Y'all, I got my ear burning. <laughs> yeah, but some of you all, some of y'all could also be cutting out a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like for some of you all, you really want to start something new with this person, but I feel like you're more so focused on, you know, having something practical, having something more stable. And I feel like this person, because you don't move on their damn time, they act very impulsively and do dumb shit, like third party shit. And you're just tired of it. You're tired of having to tell somebody. I feel like I'm hearing, I'm tired of, I'm tired of the Apollo line. I'm tired of the same. I'm sorry. So some of you guys are ending cycles, okay? Some of you guys are ending cycles, and this could have to do with the Gemini. Some of you guys could be defensive. Uh, uh, some of y'all could have, this is either you or someone else, Capricorn. I really feel y'all reading this more external. Capricorn is like, I'm walking away from the shit. I'm only chasing what really what really matters most to me in my heart space, what truly what truly fulfills me, what I truly desire. And I'm only focused on leaving, leaving legacies. I'm hearing legacy. Yeah. 
Some of you guys could be moving forward. Some of you guys could actually be starting over, setting clear boundaries to start over in love with a cancer. And I feel like it's actually going to go smooth. Some of y'all being defensive toward the fire sign for this very party shit. Next it involve a Gemini. She's just like, I'm over it. I'm ending that cycle in my life. I'm over it. Yeah. Some of you all. Some of y'all got a twin flame that's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on this damn Pisces and this Cancer. But I feel like in order for this relationship to actually flourish and be able to, and, and you to be able to manifest it, you have to end one cycle, close one chapter to go into a new one. For some of you all, uh, you could be moving towards an Aries person as well with this Wheel of Fortune. For some of you all, this could definitely involve um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. But I definitely feel like expansion is on the horizons for Capricorn. And for some of you all, it's the releasing of an attachment to someone. Releasing yourself from this toxic energy of I can't, I'm scared, what if, I hope so, maybe, ain't no maybe, baby, just do it like Nike the fuck, alright, so let's clarify these major iconics for my capital, gone, in love, right? I see beautiful in this Capricorn. I see an opportunity to truly transform and hit the reset button on your best life with someone who you truly love the right way after learning lessons from someone who you possibly had to move away from. That was a karmic for some of you all, a karmic soulmate. All right, so why is this strength card here, Spirit? Why is the strength card here for my Capricorn? Why is the strength card here? Yeah. Some of you all, it has to do with communication, fast moving communication from a Leo. Look, I can't do this. You know, I feel like this constant in and out ass energy and, and it definitely involves liquor with some of y'all. Fast moving truth, all right? But I feel like, look, we can have something new. Even with this Ace of Pentacles, I was going, I'm the Ace of Swords, I was, if, if the Ace of Pentacles clarified the Ace of Swords. We can have something new. But we're going to truly have to work on it. And work on it requires both parties actually putting in the efforts, okay? Because if you can't, even though there's a lot of passion in this thing, even though we both are willing to fight for it, I got to be gone because this shit is all so toxic. I want to acknowledge that too. Let's move forward. Let's leave all the BS in the past. The third party shit, let's leave it in the past. I'm here for a marriage. Why is this, why is this three of swords here? Yeah. For some of you all, for some of you all, it definitely involves a family situation, okay? I feel like this could be someone who you have children with, all right? But for some of you all, someone could actually, this could be a third-party situation. Someone could have actually found happiness elsewhere. Capricorn, they may be moving forward, all right? This could have to do with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you guys, someone's moving forward having to do with work matters okay for some of you all it's moving beyond a moving past the past all right what happened in the past somebody got to get over what happened in the past in order for something to work all right and be willing to change all right some of y'all moving forward with a fire sign though after possibly cutting out water Some y'all in y'all head doubting y'all self, doubting the hell out of y'all self about starting something new, a new business endeavor, or possibly having to um, invest in something. I feel like you were pumped as far as the planning, but now the opportunity is here in your damn face. You like, screw, screw. Wait a minute. I'm a little afraid. There's nothing to fear, yet fear itself, all right? This is the wheel of fortune here. That's the wheel of fortune here. Yeah. For some of you all, it's closing a cycle, right? It's closing a cycle, and with the world card being up under it, I feel like it's starting over for some of you all and releasing that defensiveness as well as that doubt and moving forward in love, accepting it. Or starting over after walking away from someone, all right, and offering your cup to someone but being slow moving about it. Maybe in the past you just moved too fast. Why is the chariot card here? Forward movement. Some of you guys are either... um. Moving away from a Sagittarius person, 
are moving towards a Sagittarius person and wanting to close out one cycle. For some of you all, you could be moving towards a Pisces. It's definitely a divine love partnership here. And I feel like for some of you all, you just truly want to move forward and actually build on a relationship, on an actual marriage, okay? Because I feel for some of you all, you just really, some of you all that has to do, I'm hearing with belief, traditional belief, structure. Both parties got to be on the same page in order for you guys to complete the madness and be willing to expand. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely going to cut somebody off and move into a new cycle of the cut off, possibly by an air sign. But no worries, no sweat, my pet. This is going to bring you to a beautiful point in your life. Catalytic situations to push us forward. It's about momentum, baby. The lovers, some of y'all is loving on the Gemini. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys could actually um have a Gemini hope. Oh. Actually uh, trying to hold on to a situation with you guys. Or you could actually be trying to hold on to a uh, twin flame relationship. Or your soulmate. I feel like you love this person. But there's this level of control that could become a bit toxic in this thing. Because it, it, it's kind of coming from a obsessive place. It's like, a, you know, we can rebuild this. We can rebuild this. But, but someone's not really fully willing to change their control in ass ways. Even though there is love there. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Yeah. For some of you all, they're shared assets, okay? Some of y'all could also be finding out you have a, a water sign, pregnant, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or uh, you could also be wanting to make a solid, secure offer possibly to a water sign or receive one from it. Some of y'all definitely find out y'all having babies. So y'all pregnant, congratulations, baby mocha love the kids. Why is this devil card here, Spirit? Yeah. Somebody got a lot of options up here. Some of y'all dealing with a very whorish water sign. Maybe this damn cancer. Okay? But I feel like <laughs> during this time, Capricorn, there's going to be a focus on love, stability, twin flame partnerships, and releasing yourself. Ironically, I'm releasing yourself from this place of stagnancy. Gaining a different perspective, a new understanding that's going to move you in a massive way towards this particular shift. And this sh within this shift, are you going to obtain happiness, movement, momentum, a little fire under your booty, possibly a twin flame relationship, partnership, soulmate relationship, one that's divinely protected, when well, ain't no bouge naive. Possibly with Gemini, Capricorn, I mean Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all are cutting off for Pisces. But there's definitely a focus on practicality, family, structure, happiness, fulfillment. Possibly after uh, letting in this new baby for some of you all. Or just strictly starting over because of the children. And moving past this turbulent waters. Okay. So I do see for those of you who were um, looking to move during this time. I do see your move being successful as well. But truly, truly, truly make a decision from your heart space, Capricorn. Everything that you truly want and desire is yours. But you got to claim it. And get the fuck out of this energy. Some of y'all need to go to bed. Go to bed, I said. <laughs> But this is definitely what I have for my Capricorns between now and the 31st of December. Pause. Let me pull your angel message. All right. And these angel messages are coming from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right. The message that you guys had pulled was comfort. Archangel Azrael. I love that. It's a beautiful card. Comfort. It says, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So allow it. So be it, Cappies. Y'all comment. Let me know what's tea. Let me know how this resonates. But for now, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I wish y'all much love, much light, much abundance. Many, much peace. Many blessings, y'all. Good health, good wealth, and good, good health, good wealth. And may God bless your finances, your family, and your faith. I love you all. Namaste, babies. Mwah. Bye, y'all.